Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Crystal Connections video where we're exploring Lemurian seed crystals. Just before the year 2000, in South America an unusual set of quartz points were found. Now quartz normally grows in little clusters like this one here and you can see all the different points together. But these unique crystals were found buried in sand and already broken off. So this is an example of a Lemurian seed crystal and not only is it unusual to have them broken off and buried in sand but you may be able to see on some of the faces there's these striations or lines. Now normally you find them in clear quartz but you can sometimes find them in a rarer smoky quartz which is really beautiful. This is a golden healer one and you can see a bit of a yellow hue to that one and you can also find pink and orange ones as well. Now, as people started to meditate and work with these, it is understood that these were crystals that were programmed by an ancient civilization many, many uh, years ago, and this civilization were called the Lemurians. So today, let's explore Lemurian seed crystals and the people who created them, the Lemurians. First of all, you may be wondering who on earth and what on earth is Lemuria? You would have heard of Atlantis, the ancient civilization. Well, Lemuria is believed to have been a civilization that predated Atlantis. Now, Atlantis was somewhere up in the Northern Hemisphere, whereas Lemuria was down south. When you look at, if you Google Godwana, the massive landmass that encompassed Africa over to India, uh, you've got the Pacific Islands and Hawaii over to South America, as well as Australia, New Zealand, and Antarctica. This was the big landmass that was Lemuria. Now, the Lemurians were beautiful, nature-loving people, and very different from the Atlanteans. They, they, whereas the Atlanteans were unable to understand nature and manipulate it to do different things, the Lemurians understood nature but worked in harmony with her. They followed the cycles of the moon and the cycles of the seasons. They were also, whereas the Atlanteans were very much about hierarchy and success, Lemurians were much more tribal-based or much more community or equality-based. They worked very much more peaceful and in harmony. And so often I talk about, and there's a, if you want to check out the article I've got on my website, adambrarelay.com, I talk about that at this point in time in our lives, we really need to get back from the Atlantean energy. You know, if you think about things like the genetic engineering that we're doing, the dominant cultures like the American culture is very much about success of the individual. And it's time for the Southern Hemisphere, the people of the Southern Hemisphere to bring back the Lemurian energy. If you think about Africa, and uh, South America. There's a very tribal kind of community base and family. Even Australians and, and white Australians, although we didn't live here, we have, uh, or we migrated here, we've got a very mateship kind of in our culture and maybe we adopted that from the land. So we have this real community base and it's time for us to start working in harmony with nature rather than manipulating it and start working as a team or as a community base as well. And Lemurian seed crystals can really help us to do that. So it's believed that the Lemurians program these crystals to be discovered at a time when we'd need them. And isn't it interesting that they were found just before 2000, like a couple of other interesting crystals were. How do you work with a Lemurian seed crystal? Well, with those striations in meditation, what you do is you run your finger along them to access the information, or you can pop your nail into each groove. And by doing that in meditation, it starts to bring back memories and knowledge and wisdom of Lemuria. One of the key lessons we can take from Lemuria and using our Lemurian seed crystals is the lesson of unity and oneness. The Lemurians believe that what happened to one affect all of us because we're all interconnected. So in doing this, as we evolve, it's important for the community, everyone, to evolve together rather than just the success of individuals. It's really important, especially for healers, to work with Lemurian seed crystals because a lot of the time healers will give all their energy out and collapse at the end of the day in trying to heal other people. We're only as strong as our weakest link, so we all need to move together and let no one be left behind. This is very different from that individual kind of Atlantean success uh, kind of energy. The beautiful thing about working with Lemurian seed crystals as well is it can help you get rid of our feelings of loneliness or neglect or isolation. It reminds us again that we are connected to everything and even if you're not feeling connected to the people around you, remember that we're connected to the environment, to nature and that there is that underlying current that does connect us all. So if you're feeling lonely, it's really nice to wear a Lemurian seed crystal, just a small one over your heart. They'll start to open up your awareness and open up your acceptance of all things and be reminded of that connectedness that we all have.
The Lemurians were a very peaceful civilization, and some of them even moved up to Atlantis where there they were taken advantage of and it was believed some of them were used for the genetic engineering and the experimentation but we want to adopt and keep hold of that peaceful energy that they programmed into their seed crystals. And so Lemurian seed crystals are really nice for any kind of peace work. If you're building a grid at home for world peace or to bring more peace and harmony to an environment, then take out the clear quartz points that you'd normally use and put Lemurian seed crystals in there. If there's somewhere that you'd like to send peace and white light to around the world, then hold your Lemurian seed crystal, meditate, see that happening and see white light sending, being sent out towards that area and enshrouding that area with that peaceful white light. It's really nice as well if you're a charity worker or doing any work to help others and you're feeling a bit deflated or overwhelmed or you know that all hope is lost. A really nice way then is just lay down at the end of the day and pop your Lemurian seed crystal over your solar plexus and it'll help to empower you again. If you need to be reminded of the beauty and the peacefulness and the magnificent of life and you're feeling a bit deflected with the way the planet's going, then meditating with it on the third eye is a really good thing to do. Where else is this really helpful? It's really good if you're a healer, then you can use this as a laser or to send white light as you're doing your healing sessions if you're transferring energy and it brings a really peaceful, healing, harmonizing energy. It's really a nice comforting crystal as well for those that are on their way to dying. It reminds them that they're not alone, that they're comforted, and that this is just part of the big picture. So if you have someone who's passing away, then a Lemurian Sea Crystal is a really good accompaniment. When we're going to be working with a crystal before we start, we want to cleanse it, with the exception of just a few crystals. And Lemurian Sea Crystals are one of those exceptions. If I was to give you a USB stick with all the knowledge of an ancient civilization, would you delete that and put your family photos on it? No, of course not. You'd want to hold on to that knowledge. So we don't want to cleanse those crystals, these crystals and get rid of all that knowledge. Now, on hearing this, some people have freaked out and gone, Oh my God, I've been cleansing it. I believe and I feel that Lemurians were so in touch with nature, they worked in harmony with crystals so much and had such a strong relationship with them that they programmed these crystals really, really well well enough that they could sit within the earth and wait until they're unveiled at the time that humanity would need them again. So if you have been cleansing them, don't worry. I'm sure they're still going to hold a lot of their knowledge. The animal guide that I call upon when I'm working with Lemurian seed crystals, and I will hold the Lemurian seed pointing it towards me and meditate and call upon turtle. In many different civilizations, turtle has represented the whole entire Mother Earth and has a real earthy connection. And turtle also reminds us just to slow down because to connect with nature, to connect with the knowledge that the Lemurians have put in these seed crystals, we must slow down. We're not gonna find it rushing around from day to day. The great plant that I like to work with is the oak. So meditating near an oak with a Lemurian seed crystal can help to balance, and although oaks are more found in the Northern Hemisphere, it helps to bring the whole earth together. Oak moss also has that really kind of back to nature, that deep mysteries of nature scent, and so I love diffusing oak moss essential oil as well. Now, if you're feeling a bit despondent about the way that the world is going at the moment, then oak flower essence is a really good to take a course of that, and that will help to give you perseverance and determination to keep helping civilization, humanity, your community to improve. Also, meditating with this in one hand and an acorn in the other will help to awaken the possibilities that are available to you. Astrologically, Lemuria is so in, in touch with the Earth that the planet Earth is what I actually connect with when I'm working with this crystal. And another nice thing to do is actually put it half in the ground and put your hands on top and feel that connection with the Earth. You can send healing energy into the Earth. Monday being such a magical day and ruled by the moon is the power day for Lemurian seed crystals. These crystals are so magical and I must admit out of all of my crystals, this big Lemurian seed crystal that I found a few years ago, it almost attaches to you, like that community oneness feeling. So you know when you find your Lemurian seed crystal that it's going to be a special tool and you won't want to part with it either. If you've found yours, I'd love to hear about it, so please leave a comment in the section below. And if not, I'm sure if you really have a connection to this crystal after hearing about it, that one is just around the corner and you'll find each other very soon. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barillet. Blessed be.